The Jin dynasty, officially known as the Great Jin, lasted from 1115 to 1234 as one of the last dynasties in Chinese history to predate the Mongol invasion of China. Its name is sometimes written as Qin, Yurchin Jin or Jin in English to differentiate it from an earlier Jin dynasty of China whose name is identical when transcribed without tone marker diacritics in the Hanyu Pinyin system for standard Chinese. It is also sometimes called the Yurchin dynasty or the Yurchin Jin because its founding leader Aguda reign 1115-1123 was of Wanyan Yurchin descent. The Jin emerged from Taizu's rebellion against the Liao dynasty 907-1125, which held sway over northern China until the nascent Jin drove the Liao to the western regions, where they became known as the Western Liao. After vanquishing the Liao, the Jin launched an over hundred-year war against the Song dynasty 960-1279, which was based in southern China. Over the course of their rule, the Yurchins of Jin quickly adapted to Chinese customs, and even fortified the Great Wall against the rising Mongols. Domestically, the Jin oversaw a number of cultural and technological advancements, such as the development of gunpowder and the revival of Confucianism. The Mongols invaded the Jin under Genghis Khan in 1211 and inflicted catastrophic defeats on Jin armies. Though the Jin seemed to suffer a never-ending wave of defeats, revolts, defections, and coups, they proved to have tenacity. The Jin only succumbed to Mongol conquest 23 years later in 1234. Topic. Name The Jin dynasty was officially known as the Great Jin at that time. Furthermore, the Jin emperors referred to their state as Zongguo Zhang Guo like some other non-Han dynasties. Non-Han rulers expanded the definition of China to include non-Han peoples in addition to Han people whenever they ruled China. Jin documents indicate that the usage of China by dynasties to refer to themselves began earlier than previously thought. History The Jin dynasty was created in modern Jilin and Heilongjiang by the Yurchin tribal chieftain Aguda in 1115. According to tradition, Aguda was a descendant of Hanpu. Aguda adopted the term for gold as the name of his state, itself a translation of Anchuhu river, which meant golden in Yurchin. This river known as Alachuk in Chinese, was a tributary of the Songhua River east of Harbin. The Yurchin's early rival was the Khitan-led Liao dynasty, which had held sway over modern north and northeast China and Mongolia, for several centuries. In 1121, the Yurchins entered into the alliance conducted at sea with the Han Chinese-led Northern Song dynasty and agreed to jointly invade the Liao dynasty. While the Song armies faltered, the Yurchins succeeded in driving the Liao to Central Asia. In 1125, after the death of Aguda, the Jin dynasty broke its alliance with the Song dynasty and invaded North China. When the Song dynasty reclaimed the southern part of the Liao where Han Chinese lived, they were fiercely resisted by the Han Chinese population there who had previously been under Liao rule, while when the Yurchins invaded that area, the Han Chinese did not oppose them at all and handed over the southern capital, present-day Beijing, then known as Yanjing, to them. The Yurchins were supported by the anti-Song, Beijing-based noble Han clans. The Han Chinese who worked for the Liao were viewed as hostile enemies by the Song dynasty. Song Han Chinese also defected to the Jin. One crucial mistake that the Song made during this joint attack was the removal of the defensive forest it originally built along the Song-Liao border. Because of the removal of this landscape barrier, in 1126-27, the Jin army marched quickly across the North China Plain to Bianjing present-day Kaifeng. On 9 January 1127, the Yurchins ransacked Kaifeng, the capital of the Northern Song dynasty, capturing both Emperor Qinzong and his father, Emperor Hizong, who had abdicated in panic in the face of the Jin invasion. Following the fall of Bianjing, the succeeding Southern Song dynasty continued to fight the Jin dynasty for over a decade, eventually signing the Treaty of Shaoxing in 1141, which called for the cession of all Song territories north of the Wai River to the Jin dynasty and the execution of Song General Yu Fei in return for peace. The peace treaty was formally ratified on of October 1142 when a Jin envoy visited the Song court, having conquered Kaifeng and occupied North China, the Jin later deliberately choose earth as its dynastic element and yellow as its royal color. 
According to the theory of the five elements Wuxing, the earth element follows the fire, the dynastic element of the song, in the sequence of elemental creation. Therefore, this ideological move shows that the Jin regarded the Song reign of China was officially over and themselves as the rightful ruler of China proper. The migration south After taking over northern China, the Jin dynasty became increasingly sinicized. About three million people, half of them Yurchins, migrated south into northern China over two decades, and this minority governed about 30 million people. The Yurchins were given land grants and organized into hereditary military units, 300 households formed a Mao company and 7-10 Mooks formed a Mangan battalion. Many married Han Chinese, although the ban on Yurchin nobles marrying Han Chinese was not lifted until 1191. After Emperor Taizong died in 1135, the next three Jin emperors were grandsons of Aguda by three different princes. Emperor Zizong R. studied the classics and wrote Chinese poetry. He adopted Han Chinese cultural traditions, but the Yurchin nobles had the top positions. Later in life, Emperor Zizong became an alcoholic and executed many officials for criticizing him. He also had Yurchin leaders who opposed him murdered, even those in the Wanyan clan. In 1149 he was murdered by a cabal of relatives and nobles, who made his cousin Wanyan Liang the next Jin emperor. Because of the brutality of both his domestic and foreign policy, Wanyan Liang was posthumously demoted from the position of emperor. Consequently, historians have commonly referred to him by the posthumous name, Prince of Topic. Rebellions in the north Having usurped the throne, Wanyan Liang embarked on the program of legitimizing his rule as an emperor of China. In 1153, he moved the empire's main capital from Huaning Prefecture south of present-day Harbin to the former Liao capital, Yanjing present-day Beijing. Four years later, in 1157, to emphasize the permanence of the move, he raised the nobles' residences in Huaning Prefecture. Wanyan Liang also reconstructed the former Song capital, Bianjing present-day Kaifeng, which had been sacked in 1127, making it the Jin's southern capital. Wanyan Liang also tried to suppress dissent by killing Yurchin nobles, executing 155 princes. To fulfill his dream of becoming the ruler of all China, Wanyan Liang attacked the southern Song dynasty in 1161. Meanwhile, two simultaneous rebellions erupted in Shangjing, at the Yurchin's former power base, led by Wanyan Liang's cousin, soon to be crowned Wanyan Yang, and the other of Khitan tribesmen. Wanyan Liang had to withdraw Jin troops from southern China to quell the uprisings. The Jin forces were defeated by Song forces in the Battle of Keishi and Battle of Tangdao. With a depleted military force, Wanyan Liang failed to make headway in his attempted invasion of the southern Song dynasty. Finally he was assassinated by his own generals in December 1161, due to his defeats. His son and heir was also assassinated in the capital. Although crowned in October, Wanyan Yang emperor Shizong was not officially recognized as emperor until the murder of Wanyan Liang's heir. The Khitan uprising was not suppressed until 1164, their horses were confiscated so that the rebels had to take up farming. Other Khitan and Shi cavalry units had been incorporated into the Jin army. Because these internal uprisings had severely weakened the Jin's capacity to confront the Southern Song militarily, the Jin court under Emperor Shizong began negotiating for peace. The Treaty of Longxing was signed in 1164 and ushered in more than 40 years of peace between the two empires. In the early 1180s, Emperor Shizong instituted a restructuring of 200 Meng'an units to remove tax abuses and help Yurchins. Communal farming was encouraged. The Jin Empire prospered and had a large surplus of grain in reserve. Although learned in Chinese classics, Emperor Shizong was also known as a promoter of Yurchin language and culture. During his reign, a number of Chinese classics were translated into Yurchin, the Imperial Yurchin Academy was founded, and the imperial examinations started to be offered in the Yurchin language. Emperor Shizong's reign (1161–1189) was remembered by the posterity as the time of comparative peace and prosperity, and the emperor himself was compared to the mythological rulers Yao and Shun. Emperor Shizong's grandson, Emperor Zongzong (r. 1189–1208), venerated Yurchin values, but he also immersed himself in Han Chinese culture and married an ethnic Han Chinese woman. 
The Taehi Code of Law was promulgated in 1201 and was based mostly on the Tang Code. In 1207, the Southern Song dynasty attempted an invasion, but the Jin forces effectively repulsed them. In the peace agreement, the Song dynasty had to pay higher annual indemnities and behead Han Tuo, the leader of the hawkish faction in the Song imperial court. Topic: <laughs> Fall of Jin. Starting from the early 13th century, the Jin dynasty began to feel the pressure of Mongols from the north. Genghis Khan first led the Mongols into western Xia territory in 1205 and ravaged it four years later. In 1211 about 50,000 Mongol horsemen invaded the Jin Empire and began absorbing Khitan and Yurchin rebels. The Jin had a large army with 150,000 cavalry but abandoned the western capital, Datong see also the Battle of Yahuling. The next year the Mongols went north and looted the Jin, eastern capital, and in 1213 they besieged the central capital, Zongdu, present-day Beijing. In 1214 the Jin made a humiliating treaty but retained the capital. That summer, Emperor Zanzong abandoned the central capital and moved the government to the southern capital, Kaifeng, making it the official seat of the Jin dynasty's power. In 1216, a hawkish faction in the Jin imperial court persuaded Emperor Zanzong to attack the Song dynasty, but in 1219 they were defeated at the same place by the Yangtze River where Wanyan Liang had been defeated in 1161. The Jin dynasty now faced a two-front war that they could not afford. Furthermore, Emperor Izong won a succession struggle against his brother and then quickly ended the war and went back to the capital. He made peace with the Tangits of Western Xia, who had been allied with the Mongols. Many Han Chinese and Khitans defected to the Mongols to fight against the Jin dynasty. Two Han Chinese leaders, Shi Tians and Lu Hema, Lu He Ma and the Khitan Shao Zala, Shao Zala defected and commanded the three Tumans in the Mongol army. Lu Hema and Shi Tian served Genghis Khan's successor, Ogede Khan. Lu Hema and Shi Tiangshang led armies against Western Xia for the Mongols. There were four Han Tumans and three Khitan Tumans, with each Tuman consisting of 10,000 troops. The three Khitan generals Shimo Baider, Shimo Bei Da Er Tabuyir, Ta Bu Yi Er and Xiao Zongxi, Xiao Zhongxi Xiao Zala's son, commanded the three Khitan Tumans and the four Han generals Zhang Ru, Zhang Ru Yan Shi, Yan Shi Shi Tians and Lu Hema commanded the four Han Tumans under Ogede Khan. Shi Tians was a Han Chinese who lived under Jin rule. Inter-ethnic marriage between Han Chinese and Yurchins became common at this time. His father was Shi Bingzi. Shi Bingzi. Shi Bingzi married a Yurchin woman, surname Nahe, and a Han Chinese woman, surname Zhang. It is unknown which of them was Shi Tianzi's mother. Shi Tians was married to two Yurchin women, a Han Chinese woman and a Korean woman, and his son Shi Gang was born to one of his Yurchin wives. His Yurchin wife's surnames were Monian and Nahe, his Korean wife's surname was Li, and his Han Chinese wife's surname was Shi. Shi Tians defected to the Mongol forces upon their invasion of the Jin dynasty. His son, Shi Gang, married a Karaiti woman. The Karet were Mongolified Turkic people and considered as part of the Mongol nation. Shi Tians, Zhang Ru, Yan Shi and other Han Chinese who served in the Jin dynasty and defected to the Mongols helped build the structure for the administration of the new Mongol state. The Mongols created a Han army, Han Jun out of defected Jin troops, and another army out of defected Song troops called the newly submitted army. Xin Fu Jun Genghis Khan died in 1227 while his armies were attacking western Xia. His successor, Ogede Khan, invaded the Jin dynasty again in 1232 with assistance from the Southern Song dynasty. The Yurchins tried to resist, but when the Mongols besieged Kaifeng in 1233, Emperor Izong fled south to the city of Keizhou. A Song Mongol allied army looted the capital, and the next year Emperor Izong committed suicide to avoid being captured when the Mongols besieged Keizhou, ending the Jin dynasty in 1234. The territory of the Jin dynasty was to be divided between the Mongols and the Song dynasty. However, due to lingering territorial disputes, the Song dynasty and the Mongols eventually went to war with one another over these territories. In Empire of the Steppes, René Grousset reports that the Mongols were always amazed at the valor of the Yurchin warriors, who held out until seven years after the death of Genghis Khan. Military. 
Contemporary Chinese writers ascribed Yurchin success in overwhelming the Liao and Northern Song dynasties mainly to their cavalry. Already during Aguda's rebellion against the Liao dynasty, all Yurchin fighters were mounted. It was said that the Yurchin cavalry tactics were a carryover from their hunting skills. Yurchin horsemen were provided with heavy armor, on occasions, they would use a team of horses attached to each other with chains As the Liao dynasty fell apart and the Song dynasty retreated beyond the Yangtze, the army of the new Jin dynasty absorbed many soldiers who formerly fought for the Liao or Song dynasties. The new Jin Empire adopted many of the Song military's weapons, including various machines for siege warfare and artillery. In fact, the Jin military's use of cannons, grenades, and even rockets to defend besieged Kaifeng against the Mongols in 1233 is considered the first ever battle in human history in which gunpowder was used effectively, even though it failed to prevent the eventual Jin defeat. On the other hand, the Jin military was not particularly good at naval warfare. Both in 1129-30 and in 1161 Jin forces were defeated by the Southern Song navies when trying to cross the Yangtze River into the core Southern Song territory see Battle of Tangdao and Battle of Keishi, even though for the latter campaign the Jin had equipped a large navy of their own, using Han Chinese shipbuilders and even Han Chinese captains who had defected from the Southern Song. In 1130, the Jin army reached Hangzhou and Ningbo in southern China. But heavy Chinese resistance and the geography of the area halted the Jin advance, and they were forced to retreat and withdraw, and they had not been able to escape the Song navy when trying to return until they were directed by a Han Chinese defector who helped them escape in Zhenjiang. Southern China was then cleared of the Yurchin forces. The Jin Great Wall In order to prevent incursion from the Mongols, a large construction program was launched. The records show that two important sections of the Great Wall were completed by the Yurchins. The Great Wall as constructed by the Yurchins differed from the previous dynasties. Known as the Border Fortress or the Boundary Ditch of the Jin, it was formed by digging ditches within which lengths of wall were built. In some places subsidiary walls and ditches were added for extra strength. The construction was started in about 1123 and completed by about 1198. The two sections attributable to the Jin dynasty are known as the Old Mingchang Walls and New Great Walls, together stretching more than 2,000 km in length. <laughs> <laughs> government The government of the Jin dynasty merged Yurchin customs with institutions adopted from the Liao and Song dynasties. The pre-dynastic Yurchin government was based on the quasi-egalitarian tribal council. Yurchin society at the time did not have a strong political hierarchy. The Shuo Fu, Shuo Fu records that the Yurchin tribes were not ruled by central authority and locally elected their chieftains. Tribal customs were retained after Aguda united the Yurchin tribes and formed the Jin dynasty, coexisting alongside more centralized institutions. The Jin dynasty had five capitals, a practice they adopted from the Baohai and the Liao. The Jin had to overcome the difficulties of controlling a multicultural empire composed of territories once ruled by the Liao and Northern Song. The solution of the early Jin government was to establish separate government structures for different ethnic groups. Culture Because the Jin had few contacts with its southern neighbor the Song, different cultural developments took place in both states. Within Confucianism, the learning of the way that developed and became orthodox in Song did not take root in Jin. Jin scholars put more emphasis on the work of Northern Song scholar and poet Su Shi than on Zhu Zai's scholarship, which constituted the foundation of the learning of the way. A significant branch of Taoism called the Quanzhen School was founded under the Jin by Wang Jie, a Han Chinese man who founded formal congregations in 1167 and 1168. Wang took the nickname of Wang Chongyang. Wang. Double Yang, and the disciples he took were retrospectively known as the Seven Patriarchs of Quanzhen. The flourishing of sea poetry that characterized Jin literature was tightly linked to Quanzhen, as two thirds of the sea poetry written in Jin times was composed by Quanzhen Taoists. 
The Jin state sponsored an edition of the Taoist canon that is known as the Precious Canon of the Mysterious Metropolis of the Great Jin Da Jin Zandu Baozang Da Jin Zan Do Bao Kang. Based on a smaller version of the canon printed by Emperor Hizong R. of the Song dynasty, it was completed in 1192 under the direction and support of Emperor Zongzong R. In 1188, Zongzong's grandfather and predecessor Shizong R. had ordered the woodblocks for the Song Canon transferred from Kaifeng the former northern Song capital that had now become the Jin southern capital", to the central capitals, Abbey of Celestial Perpetuity, or Tianchang Guan Tianzhong Guan, on the site of what is now the White Cloud Temple in Beijing. Other Taoist writings were also moved there from another abbey in the central capital. Zongzong instructed the abbey's superintendent Sun Mingdao Sun Mingdao and two civil officials to prepare a complete canon for printing. After sending people on a nationwide search for scriptures, which yielded 1,074 fascicles of text that was not included in the Hizong edition of the canon and securing donations for printing, in 1192 Sunday Mingdao proceeded to cut the new woodblocks. The final print consisted of 6,455 fascicles. Though the Jin emperors occasionally offered copies of the canon as gifts, not a single fragment of it has survived. A Buddhist canon or Tripitaka was also produced in Shaanxi, the same place where an enhanced version of the Jin sponsored Taoist canon would be reprinted in 1244. The project was initiated in 1139 by a Buddhist nun named Kui Fazhen, who swore and allegedly broke her arm to seal the oath that she would raise the necessary funds to make a new official edition of the canon printed by the Northern Song. Completed in 1173, the Jin Tripitaka counted about 7,000 fascicles, a major achievement in the history of Buddhist private printing. It was further expanded during the Yuan. Buddhism thrived during the Jin, both in its relation with the imperial court and in society in general. Many sutras were also carved on stone tablets. The donors who funded such inscriptions included members of the Jin imperial family, high officials, common people, and Buddhist priests. Some sutras have only survived from these carvings, which are thus highly valuable to the study of Chinese Buddhism. At the same time, the Jin court sold monk certificates for revenue. This practice was initiated in 1162 by Shizong to fund his wars, and stopped three years later when war was over. His successor Zanzong used the same method to raise military funds in 1197 and one year later to raise money to fight famine in the western capital. The same practice was used again in 1207 to fight the Song and more famine as well as under the reigns of emperors Weishao R. 1209 and Zanzong R. 1213 to fight the Mongols. Topic. List of emperors 1. Too long. Normally not used when referring to this sovereign. Topic. Emperor's family tree Topic. See also Eastern Shah Yurchin Jin Emperor's family tree Korean Yurchin Wars Timeline of the Jin Song Wars Topic. References Topic. Citations Topic. Sources Topic. External links Media related to Jin Dynasty 1115 at Wikimedia Commons